One thing you're going to do and one thing you're going to see is aliasing. You can alias a table or a column name. Here is an example of aliasing five different ways for the most part. As you can see here, we're going to select first name as F name. F name is going to be on the top of the report header F name and all the first names will be there. I could even sort or order by F name at the end. Now, notice the next example is last name and then L name. There's no as there. You never need the as. I like to put it because it really says I'm going to call this something else and that's my alias as this, but you never need as. So L name will be the new name for last name on the report. As you can see, class code, double quotes, class code. Why do I need double quotes there? Because there's a space. Any spaces in your alias, you got to put double quotes around it. Now, look at the next example. Double quotes, AVG, there's no space in there, but it's a reserved word. So any reserved words like from, or select as an alias. Those aren't the best aliases in the world, but if you did use those, they're reserved words. You've got to put double quotes around them. And then, of course, lastly, as STU underscore ID, they don't need double quotes because there's no space. Remember this. Anytime you're aliasing, it's the only time you'll see double quotes. Here's why I like to put the word as in. As you can see, we've made a mistake on this report. We've got first name. We've got last name. We've got what? Class code. But then we forgot the comma, so it thinks the alias is grade point. And you can see that comes out on the report. We've made a mistake. What's the difference between an alias and a title command? A title command will put a new title on the report for the column header, but you can't use it again like in the sort by. But an alias without a title will be the new report header, but you can use it again in the SQL later on. For example, we've been using as the order by statement or in the sort key. As you can see here, we're going to title the second column as character data, single quotes, and then the next as numeric data. But notice my last example. I've got backslashes in there called my stacked example. If you're using the Nexus, this is going to put my stacked example on three different lines as your header. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.